Hello there guys, it's Maxo Diddley here, and today I'm here with another Java tutorial to you get that A in your coursework, and today we're here with validating a password. So, you're probably going to have a password system, where the user enters the username and the password, and they log in and do stuff. And before we can do that, we need the user to create an account, which involves a username and a password. And we want the user to only have a good password that meets certain requirements. And today I'm going to show you how you can make a password meet these four requirements. It needs to have at least eight characters, at least one uppercase character, at least one lowercase character, and at least one number. Now we could have gone down the route of special characters, but I find them really annoying, and if you put that in your system, then just shame on you, okay? Just please don't. I find them annoying. I literally had issues logging into my UCAS because I forgot I, I, I had a special character in the password, because I don't normally do that. I just use 2FA and put a weak password. It's so much easier. Anyway, aside from that, please don't try and hack me. So as we can see, we've got a string here. This is the user's input, and they've in inputted password1. It's a very secure password. We need to firstly create a method. So I've just put the criteria here so we remember. We're going to do public, if I can type, static, boolean. I really wish I could type, guys. We're going to call it val password. And we're going to take in a string, and we're going to use, and we're going to call it password. Now we're going to do our first check, and that's checking the length. So we're going to do if password dot length is greater than seven, and in here we're going to call another piece of validation. But first we're going to put in if the password length isn't greater than seven. So basically it isn't at least eight characters long. We're going to do else. Then we're going to do return. I can't actually type. Return false. So basically so far we basically have the password length is not greater than seven. Therefore it is less than eight characters then it's obviously going to be invalid, and no point calling the other validation as we already know it's invalid, so we return false, this method's ended, the password's incorrect. Good. We're also going to put in a little error message of system.out.println too small. That's just to inform the user that the password's too small, by the way. Now we're going to create another method, and don't worry, this will rem remain red for a while until um, we finish all this code. So just don't, don't worry about that. We're gonna do public, static. I can't actually type today, guys, I'm so sorry. Boolean, we're gonna call it check, pass. And then we're gonna take in a string and we're also gonna call it password. This variable is local to this method, just like this password is local to this password. And we can pass the value into it because Java does by value, not by reference. That's, you should know that though if you're doing A2. If anyone want to do boolean, no, boolean has num equals false. We we'll also want to do boolean, I can, if I can type, has cap equals false. If anyone want to do boolean has low equals false. And then we want to do char c. So what are all these variables? Well, firstly, I've declared them all on one line because it saves space, and since they're separated by semicolons, it's the same as if they're all declared on their own lines. I just don't use up as many lines. Basically, we're going to be using three Boolean variables to basically do certain checks. So we're firstly going to check, does this password have at least one number? If it does, it's true. If not, it's false. Has cap, we're going to use to check if there's a capital letter. If there is a capital letter, then this becomes true. If not, it's going to remain false. And obviously has low, we're going to check for a lowercase letter. If there is at least one lowercase letter, then it's going to become true. If not, it stays false. And char c will just use to check every single character in the string as we loop through it. I like to just say that for this method to return true, all of these need to be true. If not, it returns false, and therefore it's an invalid password as it doesn't meet all of our conditions. That's how it works. I'll explain once more once we've actually written the code, but let's go and write the code. And do for int i equals zero. i is less than password.length and i++. You should know what this is. 
We're basically going to loop through every single character in this string, which is called password. We want to then do c equals passwords.char at, then we'll do i. Then we want to do a bunch of if statements. We'll do if caric, I can't actually type, if character dot is digit, and then we want to put they want to put C in here. C is our character variable we had before. We wanna we wanna do has num equals true. They want to do else if char I can't actually type character dot is upper case and then we'll put in C. We want to do has cap equals true. Then we'll do else if character, make sure that is a lowercase h there, dot is lowercase c. Make sure you have enough brackets. We want to then, oh, have I misspelled character? I can't actually type, I'm so sorry. Has low equals pop equals true. Then what we want to do, one last if statement under this, we want to do if has num and has cap and has low, then we return true. And then what we do under here is put return false. So what does this validation method do? Because this might look weird at first. If you understand it, then that's great. But if not, here, we're going to explain it. Basically, we're going to loop through every single character in the string here in string password. So basically, we're looping for every character in the password. That's what this does. And at the start of each iteration of a loop, we're basically going to assign C to the new character we're going to be looking at. Then basically we're going to check, okay, is this character a number? If it is, then it's true. And then we'll basically check under here if all three variables are true. If the digit the character we're currently checking is not true, then we're going to move on to this part. Is it an uppercase? If it's an uppercase, then we return true. If it isn't uppercase, then we're obviously going to move on to the next else if and check. And obviously we're going to set has low to true. If it is, if it's not, we're just going to move on. We're going to obviously check this at the end of each iteration. If this is, if, if all of these are true, then obviously return true. If not, we're going to go back to the, we're going to continue looping through this loop. And if we loop through the whole loop and this ha isn't true, then we return false because it's an invalid password because at least one of these haven't been met throughout the whole iteration we've gone through the loop. So I'm just going to do a quick example of what this could be. So we're going to actually use the string a, b. We're going to do uppercase a, lowercase b, and a 1. So we're going to start with a. So we're going to set c to the uppercase a. Is a a digit? No, it's not. Is a an uppercase digit? Uppercase character. Yes, it is. Let's, let's set has cap to true. Obviously, now we have to move down to here because obviously one of the if conditions have been met, so we don't do the other else ifs. We check, okay, are all our three Boolean variables true? No, only one is true, so we, we don't return true at all. We move up to here. We're going to go now on to our lowercase b. Is lowercase b a, a digit? No, it's not. Is it an uppercase character? No, it's not. Is it a lowercase character? Yes, it is. Has low is now true. We now come to here. Unfortunately, though, only has cap and has lower true, not has num. Therefore, we don't return true yet. We go to the top of the loop again. C is now equal to 1. Is C a digit? Yes, it is, lad. It is a digit. So we set has num to true. Since we've already done this, this if statement, we do not move on to these two. We go straight down to here. Obviously, has num, has cap, and has lower all true. Therefore, this if statement is true, so we return true. Because if this is, if all these are the same, then if all these are true, then this becomes, then we return this because this is executed. I hope that made sense. I probably explained that poorly, but I'm not re retaking this. So, yeah.
Good, so now we got that validation done. We need to now come up to here. And we need to basically put in a little bit more code. So we want to do if check pass password. And uh, I, I mistyped the word again. My typing is actually as consistent as my sex life. Like, I'm not even making the joke. Well, I kind of am, because considering you can't have something that's inconsistent if it doesn't exist. Exactly. So I'm going to return true in here, because obviously if we just put a variable or a method in an if condition, we're by default checking if it's true. And if you do if true, we do that. Then we want to do else, and then you want to go here, return false. And that's all, guys. Now we need to call our method here, so we want to do system.out.out. Print line. They want to do val password and then put in pass. And that should be it, guys. So password one should be returning true as it's got an uppercase, it's got a lowercase, it's got a number, and it's at least and it's over eight characters long. So let's play the application. And it says true for the reasons I just stated. Now we're gonna type in um Penis. And obviously this is going to return true because my penis is massive. What? Th this was clearly a fault with the program, not with my penis. Um, yep, let's move on from that. Don't need to see that. Let's type in one more legit test. We're going to type in um, 1, 2, A and B. So we meet all the requirements in terms of having a capital, a lowercase, and a number. However, we are a bit too short there. And as you can see, it's just too small. Anyway, guys, this is nearly flawless validation. The only part that isn't flawless is what I said about my penis. My penis is long. It, it doesn't know what it's on about. It, it, it doesn't know what it's want, like most girls, apparently, at a young age. That's what I've been told. It's probably just to make me feel good, though. It's probably not true. Anyway, guys, thanks for being a great audience. This has been a longer video, but it's validation. It's important validation. So be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a comment if you got a request or you're having issues with this. And if you're having an issue, I'm sorry. This compiles, so it's your fault, not mine. Learn to copy code. If you can't even copy code from some tutorial online, then you're hopeless. I'm joking, but you should watch more of my videos if you feel hopeless, because then you'll get an A. Scientifically proven, by the way. One person who watched my tutorial has actually got an A. The rest didn't. But we're, I'm not going to tell you about the rest. Anyway, guys, thanks for being a great audience. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.